These are some of the things that he mentioned in the letter that he wrote in 2012. Uh, he said it's a good thing, but there are things that should be put in place. And he mentioned, you know, revitalizing the energy sector, uh, talking about the trans transport system, uh, making more effort towards rail tracks. And I think he mentioned a mass transit, some, some, some. Yeah, but the issue is but, the problem in the power sector has it been addressed? That's the point. That's the, that's the question it? I'm bringing. Okay. Only recently, I think two weeks or two weeks ago, uh, the second Niger Bridge was commissioned. So the bulk of traffic on the regular Niger Bridge is going to reduce amazing work in that area. But we're talking about Nigeria in general. Now, if you're going to take out subsidy, it's not only going to affect Easterners or Westerners or, not, or Northerners, it's going to affect everybody. There has been, there was conversations, I think sometime in January, February, about 5,000 Naira uh, uh, palliative fund for the lowest of the lowest of the societies. Do you think that would be enough? It's grossly inadequate. Mm. Because if you look at the hardship that will come with this policy, you agree with me that those vulnerable people who live at, um, at, at that level needed a sustainable source of revenue for a good period of time. If you give somebody 12,000, 5,000, 6,000, as the case may be, Maybe it's one of ten. Mm -hmm. For me, that money may not last more than two or three days. So how do you uh, how do you want that person to live on, to cope with the hardship that comes with the policy? Then, if you look at the issue of the paper that you just cited, it will worry one to one. One begin to wonder what is the problem of our leaders. We had a situation here before the last administration came on board in before 2015. We were transmitting up to 4,000 megawatts of electricity. And they spent eight years. By the time they were leaving office, we were transmitting about 4,500 megawatts. It means they have only, they merely added 500 megawatts to our national grid in terms of transmission. Mm -hmm. Then, you look at our capacity to generate. The then Minister of um, Power in 2015, I'm talking about Raji Fashola, made us understand that before they came on board that they inherited about 12,000 generation capacity. It implies that our problem is in transmission. Because if you can generate up to 12,000 and you are transmitting 4,000, it means you need to improve on your transmission network. Mm 